Hey, what's up YouTubers and those watching this on Facebook? Um, it's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a video review. And this for this review, we're going to be taking a look at Borderlands, the Game of the Year edition um, for the PS4, also available on Xbox One and PC. And if you're interested in any gameplay footage though, Excuse me, if you're, like I said, if you're interested in any gameplay footage, I will have a link in the description. You can check it out there. Um, as far as the Borderlands series goes, it's a series I'm kind of mixed apart, mixed with. On one hand, it is definitely, I definitely am a fan of the series. I like ranging a lot of things from the art style to the gameplay and so forth. But on the other hand, it's a series also brought by Gearbox. And while they do make good games, the company itself has been in a lot of controversy, especially with its CEO, Randy Pitchford, and the whole debacle of the mess. And obviously we've heard about this year with a whole lot of the things that he's been doing, which comes off as him doing something very stupid, to of course the infamous, and we all know this, this one, the Alien Colonial Marine debacle, a game that he continues to d defend in which that and try to paint himself as the victim and so forth. So because of the way, because of that, because of that though, it's one of the reasons why I'm very torn with the Borderlands, it's, um, buying any games from, or supporting the Borderlands games because of, because of that attitude, which is unfortunate though, because to me, the Borderlands series is a favorite of mine. As far as first person shooter goes, I like these type of games. They're not like the typical Call of Duty or anything like that. It's, it's those are the kind of first person shooters I like. That and um, of course Wolfenstein and Doom as well. So it was interesting in April when they released the original Borderland, a, a remake of the PS3, 360, and of course the PC version with all the DLCs. It was interesting when they announced when they released that and announced the game at PAX along with the long-awaited uh, Borderlands 3. So now while we wait for Borderlands 3 to happen, the question is, does Borderlands, particularly the Game of the Year edition, still hold up today, even though the game came out, I think, back in 2009? And I will say yes to a um, certain degree. So when we get started with our pros and cons, let me get my notes out, and we'll start off first with the pros, and that is the visuals. One of the things about um, Borderlands that I like is the art style. It always gave off sort of like a comic book, graphic no novel style of approach um, to to the game. And it definitely holds up very well to this day. A little bit warm out there. So, so it certainly is nice that the visual still holds up even though this and, and, excuse me, even though this game was released back in um, 2009. Obviously, when Borderlands 3 comes out, that'll probably look um, better, but still, the art style um, still holds up. The next thing I do want to talk about is the gunplay, and this is the one of the, this is the area, and this is one of the strengths I like about the Borderlands series. This game not only has the whole loot system, where you could basically have different varieties of guns, but it also has a whole shooter and RPG approach where um, basically depending on which gun you have, some of them could be powerful and could take out the enemies a bit, or take out like, like, like a lot of enemies. Some could be, uh, some may be not as powerful as the other ones and some may have certain elements like some might have fire or shock or anything like that. But the point, at, but the point is that I like the whole first person shooter RPG approach to this game. It adds a different approach to say a traditional first person shooter. Not that I have anything against traditional first person shooters like Doom or Wolfenstein, but it adds a sort of a unique approach to it. And I would say I kind of enjoy the gunplay on this one, even though this game was released back in 2009. I enjoyed this one more than I could say about say um, Ubisoft's The Division, although there has been some people who did like The Division 2, but I haven't tried that out yet and so forth. But as far as gunplay goes, it still holds up to this day. And while the game is can be played with four players, um, both online or offline, you can still play it as a single player game. And I've been playing it like that, and I'm, st I'm still enjoying it, even as a single player experience. 
And last but not least, of course, is that this is the complete edition. You're basically getting um, all the DLCs in the, in the game, including everything that was released uh, before. So basically, it's the complete edition, and on top of that, there's no like I don't there's no download code or anything like that. It's all on the disc, which is definitely a good thing. So if you're looking, if you haven't tried the game out, it's worth or if you've been concerned about the fact that the game may um, have, like, you know, when you buy it and you'll have to, like, download something like that. Nope. Other than basically just an instruction book or just a little piece of paper and a poster, that's basically it. So everything is here in the game. It's also pointing out for the, for the PS4. It's also PS4 Pro Enhanced. So in terms of content-wise, enough to keep you occupied for a little bit. Also, basically to keep you occupied until, you know, Borderlands 3 comes out. <clears throat> okay, uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we get back, we're gonna get to part two, which are the cons. So we'll take a little bit of a break, and we will be right back. Okay, and we are back with part two of our review of Borderlands Game of the Year Edition for the PlayStation 4, also available on Xbox One and PC. So now that I gave you the pros, why don't we get started with the cons, and there are only really um, two cons that I could really think of in regards to the Game of the Year Edition for Borderlands, and that is the fact that there are a couple of glitches here and there at times. Now, I just want to point out that none of them are, like, game-breaking or anything like that, or nor have I been, like, booted out of the game or anything like that or made the game crash. But there are occasions where sometimes when it, when it comes to aiming your gun, particularly if you're using a scope or anything like that, sometimes when you feel like you hit the target or the target sometimes is clear in sight, Sometimes the bullet doesn't go all the way through the target or show you if you took out, you know, the enemy's um, health bar or anything like that. Um, it doesn't make the game, it doesn't make the game useless though. It does take a couple of shots and eventually the enemies will go down. But there is sort of that odd glitch in a way where if you see like an enemy in the distance and you have a clear shot, there are times when your bullet won't hit the enemy um, right on. Or like, for example, if you're aiming for the head, sometimes it won't hit the head or anything like that. So there are some odd glitches in the game. Again, nothing game breaking, nothing that ruins the game or anything like that. It's just sort of an odd thing to have in there though. Um, overall, despite that odd glitch here and there though, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is still a fun game though. Uh, the gunplay is still great after all these years and like I said, I like the whole idea of combining, you know, first person shooters with RPG elements inside the game. Um, a lot of people would point to Borderlands 2 being the better game, and I will say to a degree, yes, it, pro it is probably a better game, but Borderlands 1 um, still holds up very well to this day. <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see how it seems to be, based on at least sales why the game seems to be doing very well, and it's something for those who may have missed out on the first one to sort of try it out before the eventual release of Borderlands 3. That and of course, you know, the handsome collection with the pre sequel and Borderlands 2. And like I said, it's a series I like, but it comes from a company that I'm not a big fan of, mostly because of the attitude of what their CEO does. So it's kind of, I'm kind of torn with that. But overall, I still enjoy Borderlands. It's definitely a game I would definitely recommend, especially for those who are looking for a good first person shooter to play especially if you're sick and tired of like all those call of duties and so forth so give borderlands a try and give it give it a go and try it out and it'll be nice it'll probably hit something to keep you occupied until the release of borderlands 3 um this year <clears throat> Okay, um, this concludes my video review of Borderlands Game of the Year edition for the PS4. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? What are your thoughts about Borderlands Game of the Year edition for the PS4? Do you think it was right for Gearbox and 2K to release this game? To release this game, though, um, do you think 
or do you don't think they should release it at all? Is this game still enjoyable as it was when it was originally released, I believe, back in 2009? Or do you think it's not as good as it once was in any way? Is it something to keep you occupied until Borderlands 3 comes out? Or do you think the handsome collection more than just keeps, keeps you occupied? Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you're watching this on, on YouTube, I hope you hit that like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to. And feel free to donate to my channel if you if you want to. Um, you could do it through PayPal me or Patreon. The link will be in the description of this YouTube video. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day then. Bye!